coach his first exhibition? Oh. Probably based on the way we've been practicing, probably a little bit what I would have expected. Uh, I, I am proud of the way they responded when we got down. There really was no panic, uh, which is really good on a young team. And I thought Severe Wheeler came in and changed the dynamic of the game. And, um, uh, you know, I started five guys. Like I try to tell the team, we don't have a starting lineup. Um, I've said this last year, I've said it every year I, I coach. If you get a team that's got seven, eight, you know, upwards of nine potential starters, that means you've got seven, eight, nine potential finishers, right? And that's exactly what you want it to become uh, as you grow it. But we got to see, keep searching for that. But, but um, um, there's a lot of, a lot of areas where the things that we have not spent a lot of time on, and team basketball has been one of them because we're spending so much time on trying to get them to understand cutting, movement, being ready to shoot, um, defensive fundamentals in the half court. You know, and it didn't look like it tonight, obviously, but we've got to get way, way better at uh, playing longer stretches. And um, we will. We've got to get better rebounding the ball. I mean, there's obviously a big list of things we've got to get better at. But the bottom line is they kept playing hard. We had a lot of deflections. They got more active as the game went on. And uh, there is a ton of room for improvement. You mentioned Sevier. Of course, that moved Anthony off the ball. Was that a reason for it? Or we moved it? Anthony. We're not a um, – Anthony does a lot off the ball. It's not about – you know, this guy's the ball handler, this guy's not. We want my thing is we need decision makers, right? And part of the part of the 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 what we're, the standards in the program is to get guys to really move without the ball, be able to play multiple ways offensively, be able to guard multiple people defensively, which which we've got to get better in that, especially when it comes to taking away guys that taking away their strengths. Because we didn't do a very good job of that on number four tonight. We've taken away his strengths. But um, th this is not a don't watch this year and say, okay, well, this guy's this guy's the main ball handler, or this guy's this, or this guy's that. That's not how we're doing it. And um, but I say that, and if we don't rebound the ball better, it'll be hard to play three guys. Right? So like, but again, it's first night, and it's early, uh, very very early to play a game like this. Um, and um, I'm glad we've done it. Now we'll get ourselves ready to get better and keep adding what we've got to add and get ready to go play in a very tough environment next week in Charlotte, which I'm looking forward to. As far as Anthony's ability to play within your offense, what you expect him to do, just kind of how, is it, how do you look tonight? Just what do you think, man? Uh, he did a good job. He, he's got to move better without the ball than everybody does, mm -hmm. right? There, there was a lot of waiting for it tonight rather than cutting and creating from that. You know, we're a, we're a cerebral spacing team. We're not necessarily a system spacing team. And again, that's some, a lot of it where we're – we're, we shouldn't be behind in the half court on that, even though we were, but we are going to be behind in the full court. But we've got to do a lot more cutting and movement. Like, we're in the slots, which is a big three-point, excuse me, big three-point area for us, but we're standing there waiting for the ball. And when you're waiting for the ball, there's no real ability to penetrate and get downhill the way that we need. Mm -hmm. So, but, but cutting, lifting, now all of a sudden you're in the slot, or now all of a sudden you're at the top of the key, and you did it out of movement, not waiting and standing. And it takes, it takes, uh, you know, to think about it. We got nine freshmen out there, right? Seven scholarship guys. Uh, if they weren't the star of their team, okay, where they, they were pretty much things were centered around them, that they had, that you could count the other ones on one finger, right? I mean, it just, with one finger, it's just what it is. I mean, you've just got to get them to understand how important in the context, moving without the ball, getting each other open, making simple plays. Some of our errors tonight were out of commission, right? We're trying to make plays that really aren't there, you know, even though we're trying to make it for the teammates. So you don't want to stifle on selfishness, but we can't have reckless creativity either. You know, we've got to, we've got to have fundamental creativity. Mm -hmm. So I say all that, it's October 18th, and we got a lot of stuff to get better at with them. And, and now, there's, now there's some visual proof they have against another team, which will be helpful. I think Tamari was one of the leaders in this one of the leaders in assists tonight. Like, what does he bring to this team with his ability to be able to He brings a lot of versatility. And that, that's the biggest thing with him. There's a ton of versatility with him. Uh, he's going to play a lot. I mean, you, you, can, you can count on that. I mean, he is, uh, he is going to play a lot. If, if somebody had earned a starting spot, I would say he had, right? But, but bottom line is um, there's a lot of room for improvement with him, too. He's got to be more vocal. Um, this team, as we go forward now, as we start to create an identity, it's, it's who's really going to establish that they're going to rebound. 
Um, who's going to, it's not that we're not going to commit turnovers, but who's not trying to make plays that aren't there? Um, are we going to get better defensively at really being able to take things away from people? You know, we had, like I said, we had a ton of deflections. We had really good length tonight. But we got to do a better job with our feet, right? We got to do a better job with our voice, those type of things. And then who's going to consistently move well without the ball? And, and Tumani does a lot of those things already, but he can do them a lot better. You talk about the importance of the, the team the chemistry and, and how much can you help with that and how much of it has to kind of occur organically as far as these guys Crump was talking about being a leader of Yeah, of I, think you, I think organic is a good word. It's a good modern-day word. Like I, I said this in the radio show to Scott early on. It's like the chicken or the egg, right? What comes first, the chemistry or the roles, right? And I think right now what we've got to start to do is really get roles established. And I said this to them yet last night, or, yeah, after practice last night. They will never play basketball again, all right, if they keep going up these levels where they don't have to earn a role, right? They're not going to be able to go back to high school or prep school. You don't get to go back to AAU in the summertime. They have got to earn roles. And then when you want your role to expand, you have to earn that expansion, and that usually comes from doing a lot of extra work, and it usually comes from making your teammates better. So with that, um, that's where I think chemistry hopefully will come organically from that. We, we're not, we haven't had enough combinations in practice. I mixed some up yesterday, and you'd have thought that I uh, dropped a bomb in the middle of the floor. It was, so, it was so messed up, right? That's part of youth. They've got to keep getting a rhythm of playing together, and, and uh, it'll come. It'll come. I mean, it, it, it just takes time, but it'll come. And um, we just got to keep, it's not like we've got to make a lot of changes. We've got to make, we've got to keep building on what we're trying to do, and then we've got to keep, um, keeping them more accountable for it, you know, when we practice. What are those roles that you're looking for them to step well, into? Well, there's so many. You know what, you got a football game tomorrow night to cover, so I don't know if we can get all those roles <laughs> down. But I said it a minute ago. I, I said it this. It, 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 it's, it's, uh, we've got to have people that are going to rebound the ball. You're not winning in the SEC if you don't rebound the ball. You're not even sniffing winning if you're not rebounding the ball. And then you got to find an edge inside of the rebound, and, and or the rebounding. And, um, but I think guys that will rebound and, and understand that grit and toughness that goes into that, the moving and the cutting without the ball, um, being a, a, a very good positional defender, but we've got to have some people emerge that will really guard the better players on the other team and not let them get to their strengths. You know, so those roles, you know, we've got to kind of force feed those a little bit um, and, and see who's going to emerge. And it could be a different people emerging throughout the season. But... Uh, Nobody's role is to come down and be the main operator every time, all right? We need a team of guys that make decisions. And as, and as we continue to learn that, we'll, be, we'll get much better. Anthony said he might